Come to the Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Tonight we're going to stay in Deuteronomy, and we're going to be in there for a little while. This basically goes as I read the Bible on my daily Bible routine. So today was chapter 14 in Deuteronomy. So we're going to focus on the end of verse 21. Not the entire verse, but just the end of verse 21. I'm going to address something that doesn't make a lot of sense to most people. You shall not boil a young goat in its mother's milk. That's actually mentioned three times in the Torah, if I remember correctly. The Torah is the first five books of the Bible, the books of Moses, the law of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And that is mentioned three times. And I'm going to talk about that particular verse. Now, why would I talk about this particular verse? You know, does that have any relevance to us whatsoever in the New Testament? What did it mean in the Old Testament? And the answer I have to give to all of you who are watching this is, I have no idea whatsoever. I don't know. I have no idea. So why am I going to preach on something that I have no idea about? How can I give a word of exhortation on something I don't understand whatsoever? I'm going to focus on the fact that I don't know. I just don't know. There are going to be a lot of things that I don't have answers to. I want to understand. I want to learn. I've certainly learned a lot as I have done my own studies in the Word of God, as I've read the texts of godly men that have done their own Bible study and done their own thing and lived a life for God and conducted ministry. Certainly there is plenty that I have learned, and there are things that I do know and that I'm very confident that I'm correct about, primarily that Jesus Christ is Lord. But there are also going to be many things that I'm simply not going to understand, I'm not going to know, and there comes a point in your faith where you've got to be okay with that, where you've got to say, I believe, but I don't quite get it all. And there's got to be a point where you actually become comfortable with being able to say that. And it took me many, many, many years to get to that point. So, one, I don't know everything. So if you have a question for me, leave it in the comments. I will do my best to answer it. I may not have an answer. I may not even be able to find an answer, at least not immediately. And the exhortation in this would be, I believe really every believer needs to come to a point in their life where they can say, Father, I don't understand it all, but I trust you. And I trust your love for me. So that's about it for this. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. God bless.